Hi, my name is Emily and these are the top stories of the week. Sam Fisher is finally making his comeback and due to the magic forecasting powers of Amazon, we now know when. The retailer has added the release date for Spinner Cell Blacklist as March 29, 2013. Activision has announced that there will in fact be more Angry Bird fun for those few platforms that have not already been bombarded with the world conquering flock. The trilogy will be released on Xbox 360 with Kinect support, on PlayStation 3 with Move support and on Nintendo 3DS with 3D support. Although it seemed like a good fit, 343 Industries has revealed that they are not working on an HD version of Halo 2 after all. Many are now wondering if the job has been taken care of by the previous developer Saber Interactive, but nothing has been confirmed yet. Tammy Rella from Microsoft has made it known that Windows 8, their new operating system, will be out late October. Huge expectations have been put upon the new OS that would have the tough task of replacing the very solid Windows 7. Paul McCartney has revealed on Twitter that he's working with the studio that made Halo, that being Bungie. Presumably he's working on Destiny, and although not much is known about the project, most speculated to be a science fiction inspired first person shooter with MMO elements. Ubisoft has just announced the first DLC pack for Ghost Recon Future Soldier. The Arctic Strike map pack is due out July 17 on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. The new DLC will include three maps set in locations such as Moscow and the far reaches of the Arctic. I'm Emily and these were GRTV News.